Good morning, everybody. It's 946, May 1st. All right, how's everybody doing today? Um, I got a few things I wanted to read for you guys this morning and uh, go over this real quick. This is about, you know, those that abide in Christ. Because remember, he says uh, we can produce no fruit of any kind unless we truly are in abiding in Christ, okay? And if you're abiding in Him, then we're going to be sharing the Word, the whole Word, for what it is, okay? What it says. Abide in me and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can you except you abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For, for without me, you can do nothing. Now, this is me, you guys. We all know and have heard the once saved, always saved, such as future sins are forgiven and is unsound doctrine. Because it's, it's not written in scriptures. Anywhere is it written in scriptures like that. <clears throat> it's not in there. When you hear stuff like that, you guys, take it to scriptures. When it says test all spirits, you have to take it to scriptures. First John 3, 8 through 10. He that committeth sin is of the devil. And what is it that they say? Your future sins are all forgiven. Now, why do they say that? Remember, Jesus said, if uh, sin no more or something worse can happen to you. Okay? These are spirits. That's why we see a lot of people that are blind and don't know the time that we're living in. And these people that are saying your future sins are covered, they don't even touch the, uh, they stay away from what I'm reading you here right now. They won't even go into it, okay? And whenever they say you're going to sin, we're all sinners. Yes, we, we repented of our sins. That's why it says, follow me, you know, or you're not worthy of me. See, guys, we're in the world, but we don't have to be of the world. That's why he says, follow me. Okay? He that committed sin is of the devil. So what are they telling you? It's okay to continue sinning. Only the devil would tell you that, you guys. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. You guys, feel good preaching? is the devil at work, okay? This is why a lot of the churches can't see right now. And these people are bringing it onto YouTube now. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. In this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil, whosoever does not righteousness, is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. Now, I want you to remember this. Jesus said, my brothers and my sisters do the will of the Father. Remember that. Don't ever forget that. This one person that came on, some of you might remember it, where he said he had the power to remove demons. And then he fornicated with somebody that had many demons, his ex-girlfriend. It didn't sound right to me. You know, how? and then what does it say? A dog returns back to its vomit. Okay. Not everybody is who you think they are. There's a lot of deception, you guys, on YouTube, okay? Yes, we pray that everybody finds Christ. But um, if, they're, if they're not of Christ, it says a dog returns back to its vomit, okay? We also know that evil spirits will try to tempt you, seduce you with lies, such as you will always sin, and your future sins are covered by the blood of Christ. Those who are born again must abide in Jesus Christ to be able to produce fruit, and they will not sin anymore. You have to be abiding in Christ to do this, you guys. You can't do both. Okay, James 1.12, Blesses the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which is, which, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. See, you guys, if you truly love Christ and you're abiding in him, 
This is every day for me. It's not sometimes. It's every day. There has no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. So he's telling you, you can go by without sinning. That's why it says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Okay, now if you're willingly going to sin, you're not resisting nothing. You're giving in to it. Okay, you can't serve two masters. It's clear. And if you're not following Christ, Satan is a prince of this world. You guys don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that. First Corinthians 10, 13. Can one go upon hot coals and his feet not be burned? You know, Proverbs 6, 28. And he said that which cometh out of the man that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, leviscanness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. That's why we got to be walking in the spirit, you guys. We got to be walking in the spirit. Now, when we turn from our past, okay, who we once used to be, not sin, not sinning, but confess our past and our present sins and following Jesus Christ, then these feel-good preachers say, we're always going to sin. And that's why we are sealed by the blood. I read scriptures saying, those who abide in Christ will not sin and to resist temptations and we can overcome. Okay, this is what scripture says. We can't overcome. Now, what are they preaching? That we're, you're going to always be a sinner. What, what does the devil always say? You're always going to be a sinner. Second Peter 2, 21-22 For it had better for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness then after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. You guys, Jesus said when he came here to be crucified, he came here so that scriptures and psalms would be fulfilled. We're seeing right here where scriptures are being fulfilled. Where they're returning to sin, they're saying you're always going to sin. Well, if you read your scriptures, you'll know that it says, If you abide in him, you sinneth not, and your seed remaineth in you. Okay? First John chapter 3, verse 9. Whoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. You're not going to want to, you guys. Because you're gonna, we we right now are spending our every day. That's why I look at the churches. Why are they still setting their clocks like everything's normal? My life changed. One all totally different. This world is like putting a hot rock in your hand. And I know Satan is a prince of this world right now. And I know his time's coming to an end. And I know why people can't see. It's being hidden from them because of love of the world. Every man that has this hope in him purifies himself, even as he is pure. Whosoever committeth sin transgresses also the law. For sin is a transgression of the law. You guys, when we abide in Christ, we're not under the law. Don't forget that, okay? But when you're of the world, okay, you're going to sin. You will sin. And that's when you're of, under the law, but not in Christ. Christ came here to free us from this. And if you abide in him, you won't sin. He made a way for us to get out of this. Your captivity is free. Those that tell you you're going to always sin, that's the devil. Don't ever forget that. Let no man, whosoever abideth in him, sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth has not seen him, neither known him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that does righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. 
He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him. Okay? It remains in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. John 15, 4, 5. Abide in me, and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. So neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, he bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. You guys, listen. To produce fruit, is not by telling people what they want to hear. It, it does, by accumulating thousands of people around you on your channel, does not mean you're producing fruit. Remember, it warns in the last days, people having itchy ears will accumulate teachers. I'm going to tell you, it says, if the angels rejoice in heaven if, if just one comes to the Lord, just one, and but truly knows the truth. Okay, there's a lot of deception out here right now, you guys. A lot. <clears throat> John 8.31 So Jesus was saying to those Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, then you are truly disciples of mine. Proverbs 3.5.6 Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not into your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Okay? Remember, you got to test all spirits, you guys. We're here to uh, edify and comfort one another, but with the word of God, okay? Not to get your ears tickled, okay? Psalms 118, 8 through 17. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princesses. All nations compassed about me, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They compass me about. Yeah, they compass me about, but in the name of the Lord. They compass me about like bees. They are quenched as a fire of thorns. But in the Lord I will trust. Thou has thrust sore at me sore at me that I might fall but the Lord helped me the Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation the voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacle of the righteous the right hand of the Lord is exalted the right hand of the Lord does uh, valiantly I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord Isaiah 2.22 Seize ye from man whose breath is in his nostrils, for within he is to be accounted of. Psalms 118 It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Micah 7 5 Trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the door of thy mouth from her that lieth at the bosom. Jeremiah 17.5 Thus says the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, whose heart departeth from the Lord. You guys, these are the things that are going on right now. Be careful. Do not be deceived, you guys. Psalms 118.8.9 Or, I'm sorry, Galatians 6.3 For if a man think of himself to be something... When he has nothing, he deceiveth himself. You guys, they've taken the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ and they've uh, literally taken it to twist to make crooked the rest of the scriptures. Okay, we need to read the scriptures because there's only one way they can do this with you and, and give you unsound doctrine is simply by not reading your scriptures. Okay. Jesus himself said he came here 
to lay down his life to fulfill what was written in the Psalms. So all the whole word of God, you guys. Psalms 40, 3, 4. And he has put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto the, our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Romans 13, 8. Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another has fulfilled the law. Isaiah 31, 1. Woe to them that go down into Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and they horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. You guys, that's why I dropped everything here. I knew what time it was. And I'm still doing what I did. You know, I'm just in the cabin in the woods now. Ephesians 2.8 For by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. For the flesh, now Galatians 5.17 For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to another, one to the other. So, so that you cannot do the things that you would. John 15.4 Abide in me, and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can you, except you abide in me. 2 Timothy 4.3 For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust they shall heap to themselves teachers, having itchy ears. This is scripture telling you what we're seeing right now. All right. Do feel good preachers warn you about these? No. They tell you you're a sinner and will always sin. That sounds a lot like Satan to me. That's not even in scripture. Yes, scripture says we, we all are said sinned and come short of the glory of the Father. That's why we turn from our sins. That's why we pick up our cross and we follow Christ. We believe in him. And if you don't pick up your cross and follow him and abide in him, you can do nothing. Okay? Christ is not going to continue and condemn you. He said he didn't come here to condemn us, but to free us of this. Okay? Anybody that's telling you you can continue in sin, that's of the devil. Okay? It's the devil. Don't think for a moment they're not on YouTube because they are. God bless you. I love you all. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.